Hi, welcome back to our Algebra 1B playlist. In this video, we're going to talk about how to simplify radicals to get a table of values. So when we graph radicals, there are a few things we need to know. We should know how A, H, and K affect the graph. And we should understand where our vertex is. So here the vertex would be at 3. So let me label that as vertex. My vertex would be at 3, comma, negative 3. So notice how in the middle here I've got my vertex, 3, comma, negative 3. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to substitute in all of my known values for x into my equation and I'll simplify to get my value for y. So with no number out front, all we've got to do is plug in a negative 5, or substitute in a negative 5, minus 3. So all I did here was change the x to a negative 5, because that was my x value. I'm going to make sure to note that the minus 3 is on the outside of the cube root. So all I need to do here is simplify this until I can't simplify it anymore, and then I'll subtract my 3. So let's focus on our cube root. Negative 5 minus 3 more would give me negative 8. And I'll keep that negative 3 on the outside, or minus 3 on the outside. What could I get as the cube root of negative 8. Well, if I use that chart that we have on our notes and homework, the cube root of negative 8 should be negative 2. Now, notice that I don't have the cube root symbol around that anymore because I already took the cube root. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So negative 2 minus 3, I'll keep that negative 3, is negative 5. I had two negatives. I had three more negatives. If I combine those, I get minus 5. All right, let's try another one. So I'm going to plug in a 2 for x. And make sure to note that your radical ends here after the minus 3, and then I'll put my other minus 3 after that. So I'm just going to simplify my cube root. Simplify this until you can't simplify it anymore, and then add or subtract. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1 minus 3. And now I'll simplify my cube root again. The cube root of negative 1 is just negative 1. And I'll keep that minus 3. So now I have 1 negative and 3 more negatives to get 4 negatives. I'd like you to try 4 and 11. See if you can get those two done. And then... I would pause the video as you work on those, unpause the video when you're done, and check your work. All right, now I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part since you should have already checked your work. You can always pause the video and rewind if you need to hear something twice. So cube root of 4 minus 3, minus 3. I'll simplify my cube root. This becomes 4 minus 3 is 1. And now the cube root of 1 is just 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And my last one here, cube root of 11 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3. So the cube root simplifies to 11 minus 3 is just 8 keep that minus 3 on the outside. And the cube root of 8 is 2. Minus 3 gets you negative 1. 
Okay. Now what happens if there's an A value outside? Well, first of all, our vertex is going to be 7, 9. And we know that this particular graph is going to be flipped upside down or backwards. That A value flipped my graph. So I can still put 7, 9. I can still put my vertex in the middle. All right, so just remember to keep that negative 1 out front. That's one of the biggest mistakes students make. And I'll substitute in minus 1 for x. And all we're going to do here is simplify the cube root. That's all we're going to do. First, we will simplify the cube root. So I'm not going to change anything else about the problem. But I will simplify the cube root. 1 negative minus 7 more negatives gets you 8 negatives. And then I'm going to simplify this cube root again, but I'm not going to do anything else with the rest of the problem. Cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So I have negative 1 times negative 2 is 2 plus 9, which would get me 11. All right. I'm going to help you get set up here. Negative 1 up front. And again, you've got to remember that negative 1 the whole time. And I'd like you to try the rest of this one. Simplify your cube root. Simplify your cube root until you can't simplify it anymore. Then remember to multiply by the negative 1 and add the 9. All right, I'd like you to try this on your own. Pause the video and then unpause when you're done. Okay. So that'll be a negative 1. So I'll keep the negative 1 out front. This cube root simplifies to cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Plus 9 is... 10. And again, I'd like you to simplify everything here. I'd like you to try 8 and 15 on your own. See if you can get those on your own. And then I would pause the video while you do your work and unpause when you're done to check your final answers. Okay, so you should be done by now. Otherwise, pause the video. And this would be negative 1 times 1 plus 9 is 8. And this would be negative 1 times the cube root of 8. So negative 1 times 2 plus 9 is 7. Okay. Now for your homework tonight... Let me know what questions you've got, and I will